Hey guys, NickMock007 here again, and today I wanted to show you a real simple project. Um, it is a just simple DIY drip acclimator for acclimating fish or whatever else you might want to acclimate to your tank. Uh, really simple project, takes about five minutes to do once you've got the supplies on hand. And one of the most useful things I think you can do, um, especially if you're just setting up a tank or have lots of tanks and are constantly bringing new fish into your, uh, into your tanks. All right, so what do you actually need? Uh, you need some airline tubing, probably a longer piece than that, but that's just for demonstration. A valve for the airline tubing. Uh, oftentimes this will come with air pumps and things like that. And some rigid airline tubing. Now I will put links in the description to where you can get all of these projects on Amazon. Projects, excuse me, items on Amazon. So this is 3 sixteenths. 3 16 inch thin wall. Um, sorry, the focus was a little bit off there, but you can see that pretty well. And again, links will be in the description. That's really the only special thing that you need that you may or may not be able to get at your LFS. And you'll need a pair of scissors to cut said airline tubing, both the rigid and the regular. You'll need a heat gun. This might be the only thing you don't have on hand, and I picked this up, I've had this for a long time, but Pick this up at one of the local big box stores for maybe 10, 15 bucks. Um, but you can get one online. I'll leave a link in the description. Or you might be able to use a lighter. Just be careful not to burn or melt the tubing. All right. So as I get set up here, I'm going to cut the rigid tubing off screen uh, because I think everyone who's watching this video probably has passed preschool uh, scissor skills classes. Uh, so I won't show that, but if you do have questions, uh, I'm happy to uh, answer any questions on cutting. Uh, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Maybe another video I'll show you how to make snowflakes. So now you might ask, how long of a piece of tubing do I need to cut? Well, for me, about 10 inches was right, a little bit under 10 inches here. Um, but there was no science to that. It was just a guesstimate. And uh, that's about how long I cut the first piece of uh, tubing uh, when I made one of these before, and it worked out well. Uh, if you have really big tanks, you might want to go a little bit bigger. If you have little tiny nano tanks, maybe a little bit smaller. But I would wager that about 10 inches is going to work for most tanks. All right. Time for the power tools. So there's no really, you know, if you never used a heat gun, it's very simple. Turn it on. Keep it moving. You don't want to melt the tubing. You don't want to burn anything. So I'm just waving it back and forth and rotating the tubing in my fingers. Uh, sorry, we're a little bit off frame here. Uh, just kind of testing it. It's not going to get that hot for this project, but be careful not to burn yourself. As you can see there, it wasn't uh, heated up enough yet, so it uh, didn't bend. It should bend very easily when it's ready. Now look here, you can see that tubing has already started to bend under its own weight once it got hot enough. Again, sorry for being off frame a little bit, but very simple. Just bent it exactly into the uh, kind of a right angle, and that's it. We're halfway done. Hold it in place for a second, let the tubing cool. Then you can see I'm kind of feeling it, giving the tubing a little push. It's, it's rigid again. It's not going to bend. All right, here's the tricky part doing the exact same thing again. All right, so heating up the tubing, uh, maybe about an inch or so. Uh, you know, you just want this to go over the rim of your tanks. So if you've got a really big rim, you know, about two inches. If you got a really small rim, maybe half an inch. But uh, as you can see, I started to go a little bit too far away from that bend. So I just uh, heated up the tubing again and is slightly closer to the original bend. And again, sorry for being off frame a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just just bending it with my hands. And there you go. That piece will rest right on top of the rim. Hold it in place, let the tubing cool. Again, same exact process as the first bend. All right. We are almost done with this project. Next. Push the airline tubing. Now my tubing, you can see here, uh, the rigid tubing is not the same length on both bends. Um, this is the this side is the side that will go into the acclimation container. Now again, I just used a tiny piece of airline tubing for demonstration, but probably need a longer piece. Put the other end into the valve, so you can control the flow of water from your aquarium to the acclimation container. And that's it, you are pretty much done. 
Last thing I'll do is just show you what it would look like if you were actually acclimating something to your tank. There you have it. You just hook the tubing over the rim of the tank, run that line down into a bucket, and on the other end you've got that, uh, that valve. So once you start the suction and water is flowing from your aquarium to the acclimation container, all you have to do is turn that valve up or down to increase the drip rate or uh, slow it down. Simple as that. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching today. If you have any questions about this project, I know it was a very simple one. I know you can buy these pre-made, uh, but it's very cheap to do on your own, very easy to do. You don't really need any specialized tools, probably can even get away without having a heat gun. And it is probably one of the most useful things I've done when bringing new fish into my tank. All right. So again, if you have questions, uh, feel free to message me or leave comments below. And if you like the video, please do take a second and hit that like button. And if you dislike the video, make sure you hit the dislike button, but also leave me a comment. Let me know what I could do better in the future. Uh, as always, think about subscribing to my channel. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, it keeps me motivated to make these videos and uh, share information and talk with others online. Uh, and as promised, I really do have a tank update video coming, but thought I would just throw together this real quick uh, DIY project since uh, I needed to make another one of these. So hope everyone uh, enjoyed it. Hope it's useful to some folks out there and catch you in the next video.